All right, so my Starlink just arrived and it is massive. This is a much bigger box than I thought it was gonna be. It looks like a full satellite dish in here. I was kind of envisioning something small, but nice looking box. Let's crack her open and uh, see what we got. All right, this is pretty uh, nicely packaged for such a huge box. I like that the setup looks so nice and simple. Put the satellite dish together, stick it outside, point it at the sky, plug it in. So, let's see what we got. Nothing on the back. Whew. All right. And it looks like it's all pretty much put together, too. I just pop the base stand in it, move some wires, and the base stand's pretty nice. Aluminum, powder coated. And I guess you're getting something for the $500 you paid to get this stuff. We've got a router. One thing I kind of wish is a guy had the option not to purchase this router. Uh, I kind of feel like, well, I've got a really nice router. We'll see how this one works. Maybe there's a proprietary reason they do it. Sent me a ton of cable. I've got a satellite dish. A very fancy Apple-esque looking satellite dish. It's got some smudges and some wear on it. It's very, very interesting. Not a very traditional looking thing. So I'm gonna end this here, because unboxings are boring, and I'm gonna set it up, and then we'll start again. All right, so the setup of the Starlink was dead simple. Like literally just stick it outside, run the wire, plug it in. Uh, one thing that surprised me was there's a motor in it. So the Starlink, once you plug it in, it pitches up to flat and then tries to track, I guess, the best satellite positions. So it angles. And I'm wondering if there's a direction it's supposed to be pointing in, oriented in, for best results. Uh, I'm gonna have to look into that. But uh, for the results, so basically I plugged it in, uh, everything was set up. I logged into the router via the Starlink app and then I jumped on, renamed it, changed everything, and then I, it took about five minutes for it to acquire satellites, and now I have the best internet I've had in seven years. So the results are this. Generally, I was pretty happy to get one megabyte a second downloading off my Wi-Fi hotspot, 4G, and now I am getting uh, 8 to 20 megabytes a second download, it seems to vary a bit. And these are the speed test numbers, so download 127 megabits, upload 20 megabits. So overall I'm very pleased so far, and you can see that ping's pretty good too. Uh, we're going to keep testing and see how things go, but right now this is looking like a great deal.